Dodger Stadium. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. And now. Ready to go. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan India. The second baseman, Jonathan India. The pitch. Out to short. Bats up with it. Sends it to first. One out in the top of the first. Will Benson, the next to hit for the Reds. And downstairs. One out, base is empty. A little bit high. Three and one. Three and one. The pitch. That one finds the corner. Now three and two. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there. And he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now a chance to maybe run around the goal. Pitch outside. Throw to second. He's safe. Benson over at second. One down. Swings and misses. And the count is two and two. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Next offering misses. Three and two down. Right through there. And there's two away. Now batting Chamber Candelario. Glass now. Ready deals. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Coming home. He will score and the Reds have the lead. one nothing. Comes through with the RBI. Yeah, Just good. kept it simple. Played yeah, Pepper with the middle of the infield yeah, yeah. and took it yeah, back yeah. where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now Jake Fraley on the ground to third and that one finds its way through. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball go deep. The shortstop takes the ball. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. Out, pulls it down, and that'll do it. Bottom of the first. Mookie Betts will get us started. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value and the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. This to third, and foul ball. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope pitch that one down the line and that's just foul three two swings through that one it's a strikeout Shohei Otani up to the dish the wind of the pitch on the ground to the left slides but he can't come up with it Everything came together perfectly for him right there. The Smash that one through the infield for the right. nine. When it's hit that hard, Freeman. it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Two and one. Way high with that one. And it's two and one. Oh. 
Man at first, one away. Swings and misses. And the count's even at two. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Chase the that fastball up the ladder for strike three. The batter now will be Will Smith. Will chase that time. Otani, the runner at first with two gone. And they'll do it again. That one misses. And the count's okay. full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Steer going back on this one. And it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. To save it the way too late safe there. Picks himself up at RBI. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now the corner for a strike. One Gonna count one and two. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a pop-up. Candelario makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at Chavez Ravine, top of the second, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Spencer Steer. And that's off the inside edge. Two and one. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. And here it comes. Fouls one away and now three and two. The pitch. Wide drive and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Next offering is downstairs. It's a good take. Got him swinging. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Man at second. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Righty to the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. And he deals. That just misses. And the count is even two and two. Boom, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Got him swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. Now here's the Reds leadoff man, Jonathan India. India. The 1-1. One, one. Good eye right there.
That one finds the zone. It's two and two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. On the ground, right side. And that one handled. On to first. Yep, and that is the inning. And we're back at the plate. The Oscar Hernandez. The left foot. They are. The next pitch misses. And that's ball two. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. In the air, center field. Under it. One down. And now the center fielder, James Alvin. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And there's two away. Here's the rookie right fielder, Andy Pappas. The right fielder. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Got him swinging. Back here in L.A., stepping in, Will Benson. Here's a 1-1. Slap the other way, foul. That one inside, two and two. Checks his slant. Appeal down the third. And he went around according to Patrick Johnson. Christian Encarnacion Strand, the next to hit for the Reds. Chris through the early stages he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count he's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game next one misses and it's a full count it is interesting though when you consider the way the game is run now it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens now the Reds cleanup hitter Jamer Candelario and Carnacion Strand over at first with one away. Blast now. Oh, right Checks over to first, and he's back. And a pitch. And that, that one almost lost. hit him. We're here in the top half of inning number three. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Righty delivers. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Smith brings it in. And that is that. the other way no trouble here puts it away for the out yeah. and there's one away. back to the top of the Dodgers order 
Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. The 2 2 on the way. Ground ball up the middle. India over to first in time. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Here's Shohei Otani. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. I'll tell you what, he's embarrassed right now. Never swings at that kind of pitch, especially that early in the count. Good job to fight that one off. Two down, nobody on. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Stepping in is the switch inning shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. And the pitch. And a foul ball. Spencer Steer. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. So here's an interesting note on Glasgow. He's been known to look at photos of people he doesn't like before it starts. It's a way for him to kind of get angry and then he carries that anger out to the mound to help him pitch. It sounds like a good strategy to me, but I wonder who he's looking at. Makes the grab and there's two gone. And now here is Nick Martini. Two outs. Boots it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double in the fourth. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And up to the plate is Will Smith. One ball. He's great. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Out there to center, gliding in towards the infield. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. Max Muncy at the dish. Freeman, the runner at second will run away. And another ball. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Swing and a miss struck him out. Here's Tasker Hernandez. The one-one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. India over to first in time. Gets him easily, ends the inning. And we're back. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. 
Right-hander deals. Swings through that one. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So the batting order turns over. Next for Cincinnati, Jonathan India. All tied up. We're at the top of the fifth. Foul off down the right side. Fights it off. You'll see another. One down. Base is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. And that one is lifted in the air. Pahes drifts towards it. Two away. And stepping in is the speedy Will Benson. Two outs, base is empty. Smoked on the ground a second. Rolanda Freeman, that ends the frame. with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Pitch no, misses. And a count two and one. Two balls. One strike. And that one fouled off. Oh. Next offering upstairs. Look him. Side and that is ball four. They yeah. hand the ball over to a new arm, Nick Martinez. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Next pitch is outside. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Makes the grab, and there's two down. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Mookie Betts. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugging too. Oh, he gloves it in time. Got him. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Michael Grove. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Christian Encarnacion Strand. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. Now all even up. He goes down looking. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Jamer Candelario. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hernandez makes the grab and there are two outs. Jake Fraley the next to hit for the Reds. Two down nobody on and we're at the top half of the sixth. In for a strike and a count one and two. Yeah. And it hit him. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. 
Runner at first with two away. And now the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. The 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Oh. Fraley leads off first with two down to the inning. Runner takes off. Pitch misses in. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Man on second, two down. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Now it's the power speed combo. Shohei Otani. And the righty deals. Swinging a foul straight back. Left hand batter waits. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. On the ground, De La Cruz. The throw to first, and they get Otani for the out. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Kicks and fires. Just missed. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. A gigantic blast. It's 2 1. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there. And that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. One down. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And another ball. Here's a fun Great fact. Line. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the bottom of the sixth. Up the middle, De La Cruz. Throws to first, and they get the out on Smith. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. And a pitch. Got him. And that'll do it. Back here in L.A., now the left fielder, Spencer Steer. Fly ball down the line. This looks like extra bases. Here's the throw, but he's in there easily. Well, that was an important at-bat in this now, game, so great job there, Steve. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Ryan Yarbrough. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. That one ripped, but foul. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Stays alive. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. So the tying run at second. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. 
Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And it's second. Wouldn't chase that time. And now it's filled up. Here comes a pinch. Good play appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. Two on, one out. Breaking ball inside. Three and one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. Swing and a miss. And it's three and two. Strike three. Got him swinging. Two gone. So first and second with two outs. Will Benson now at the plate. That misses. Two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. The pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. On the ground to third. Sneaks through. Base hit. The run comes in from second. We are tied at two. Big RBI for him right there. Just found a way to slot that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Now here is Christian Encarnacion Strand. Foul ball still a one and two count. a big chance to take the lead here. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now to Oscar Hernandez. Out front, Rip foul. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Got him swinging. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. One down, base is empty. Fouls one off, two and two. The pitch. Right side, hard hit. And Cardacion Strand takes it himself. Two up, two down. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajas. All tied up here at the bottom of the seventh. Ouch, that one drilled him. And they get the out after the ricochet. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Welcome back and a new arm of the mound to start the eighth. Alex Vesia. Jamer Candelario digs in now. And now the lefty. And a count one and two. And a pitch. And another ball. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The 2-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And 
Now the right fielder, Jake Frazier. A little surprised. We don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. And a count one and two. Next offering is outside. One down, base is empty. Hits and misses. That's a strikeout. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. De La Cruz. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Just oh. missed. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. And a swing and a miss. And the Reds go one, two, three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Brent Suter. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And now it's Gavin Lux. A 3-1. And fouled off. Three and two now. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The lefty fires. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Line to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Great swing of the bat right there. Okay. Trying to get on is that That's go ahead so round. Just wasn't able to find a hole. Hit hard. That gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. Always feels amazing getting a job yeah. done when the team <laughs> needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Now at the plate, Shohei Otani. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And a pitch. Roll to short, could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. Over to first, safe. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still the important to execute as well. Function. This game is a lot harder than it looks. Now snap throw to first, and he's back in safely. Face runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Shohei on the go. Laser base hit. Makes the turn at second, hits for third. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high level spot right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So now it's the four hole hitter, Will Smith. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And another ball. And here it comes. That misses the zone. They're now three and one. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here, the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position. He's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Two on, two outs. In the air, out to center. Sizing this one up. Brings it in for the third out. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Nabil Prismat. So coming into the game now on defense, Miguel Rojas. He takes over as the new first baseman. 
Here's the left fielder, Spencer Steer. And a count one and two. Strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Next to hit, Nick Martini. Got him to chase one upstairs there. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at high level. It's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. Upstairs. Goes down looking. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. At the belt and fires. Fall off foul. Legging on the curveball, and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Justin Wilson. And we all know yeah, about his slider. It's just <laughs> filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And now it's Max Muncy. One swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. And that one almost got him. Swing and a miss. And now it's three and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And a ground ball to first. He handles it himself. One out, bottom of the ninth. Teoscar Hernandez now steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Base is empty one away. They're the last half of inning number nine. That one's in there. Now one and two. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is that I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That's a base hit, and now the winning run is on base. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a wide drive the other way, you do good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball run around the goal. Pitch in for a strike. For a second and great jump. Way inside and that hit him. He had him one two and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Gavin Lux will hit next. Winning run stands at second. Swings and misses. In a count one and two. And that's down and away. Swings and misses. Struck him out. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. And we're back. Here's the second baseman, Jonathan India. Next pitch, not close, up high. Way out front for strike two. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Right into the plate. Bounced up the middle. Lux tosses the first. And one away in the top half of the 10th. And here is Will Benson. 
This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's pretty good. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So up next, Christian Encarnacion Strand. And misses. That is strike two. It's a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow. Up the middle. Over to Ross. And it's a one, two, three inning. Back here at extras. And a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning. Fernando. And now it's Mookie Betts. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. One ball, two straight. That one to first. Nice grab. Onto the pitcher, and they get the out. Big play there to get the leadoff man. Now the number two hitter, Shohei Otani. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. And another ball. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Struck him out looking. Miguel Rojas at the plate. That one not close. And a count to and one. Winning run at third, two down. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Welcome back, and on the mound to start the 11th. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hitter, Jamer Candelario. Out towards left center. Out and tracks it down for the out. And he makes it up to third with one away. Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps get an inning ending double play. The 2 1. Inside corner, that's called a strike. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Strike out there. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. Two outs. And a count one and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. The one two. And a swing and a miss. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. Bounced out to short. De La Cruz. One up, one down. Here comes Max Muncy. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Oh, 
next offer is down low. One away, the winning run at second. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Oh, wow. That was so close to ending this one. Man, just bent in the foul territory at the last second. I'm telling you, it can be tough to refocus and, and get back into the rest of this at bat. But he's got to find a way to do it right here. And he walked him. Leone just tripped the first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. The pitch. And another ball. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. That one finds the zone. Two and two. Two on, one out. That one off the mark, and that's ball three. Put a layoff that pitch down. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. The pitcher for the Reds, Doug Farmer. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. So bases loaded with one away. And next for L.A., James Altman. Next offering is in for a strike. As a hitter, you don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. And fly ball out towards left field. That's bad. Out of here. Game. He unloads on that one, and the Dodgers walk it off in the 11th. Slam is exciting no matter what part of the game you hit it. But a walk-off Grand Slam, an incredible finish. Clutch swing of the bat that he'll never forget. Truly special. Your final six to two. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chavez saying so long.